Greetings, everybody. This is going to be a pick a card reading, and this is like um pretty much like a check in with you, your like an energy check in with um important areas of your life and you know wherever you are. So this will be um intended as a timeless reading, a timeless reading. So you can benefit from this whenever you come across this video, whenever you feel the need to go back and watch maybe another card will resonate later on with you you know whatever you feel guided to do so before we start um by the way i'm going to shuffle the cards on camera because i feel led to do that so um this spread is going to be inspired by a um, post that i've seen on instagram in regards to like all the different um planets and how they relate to us in our chart so i created a spread based off of that and I have three playing cards for you to choose from. If you guys would like to um, stick around for the mini uh, meditation just to center your energy before you choose a card, um, you guys can stick around for that or you guys can go ahead and um, skip to the timestamp of when the reading starts. So the first card we have for pile number one, we have the four of spades. Or the four of diamonds, sorry, the four of diamonds. I'm using the um I'm using my little sister's David Bowie playing cards. The second pile is the eight of clubs and the eight of hearts for pile number three. So that's your choices. So I'm going to do a mini um, singing bowl meditation for you guys before you guys pick a pile that may resonate with you just to center your mind. So I'm just going to um, chime these bells. You guys can breathe in, breathe out. You guys can count down. You guys can visualize whatever you feel guided to do. Quick singing bowl just to center our energy. Okay, so I'll give you guys a moment to meditate and reflect on the card that stood out to you. Again, we have pile number one, which is the four of diamonds. Pile number two, ace of clubs. Pile number three, eight of hearts. I think I said eight of clubs, but it's eight of hearts. I mean, eight of clubs over here, pile number two. So I'll give you guys a moment, meditate, reflect. If you feel like you're clear, you guys can go ahead and skip to the timestamp of your reading and we'll go ahead and start. All right, let's go ahead and start your reading pile number one. For those of you who are drawn to the four of diamonds, and I'm going to shuffle on camera. Thank you, Divine Spirit. Thank you, angels. My ancestors who love me, guide me, assist me. Those who are drawn to the vibration of pile number one. I thank the ancestors and spirit guides that are connected to them, that are of loving light and service and truth, who are here to give them insight and clarity. Thank you. I ask for divine protection to surround them and to surround me as I'm doing this reading and that they receive the clarity that they seek and much more. Okay. 
keep in mind these readings are general. I hate to always have to say this in a video, but some people um, might need to hear it if this is their first video. You never know who's watching. So please be mindful that these readings are simply general. They're not personal readings. So not every part of the reading um, has to resonate with you. So please use your own intuition and discernment to um, know the difference of what is for you, okay? Be respectful as well because I don't, you know, I don't play that anybody that's coming here with any negative intentions all up in their feelings and, you know, anything negative that you have to say or towards someone else, I will block you. I won't even say anything to you. You're not going to be disrespectful on my channel. So um, for those of you who are respectful, thank you. Those of you who um, are appreciative of readers giving out free readings for you and actually putting their heart and soul and energy into these readings because it's not easy. So I appreciate you. All right. So I'm going to clarify with the tarot. I'm going to, I'm using the chakra, um, the chakra, I can't remember what this deck is called, but I know it's a chakra oracle deck and I'm going to use a tarot deck to clarify your cards as I always do. 10 cards. Thank you. Okay. All right. So pile number one. Your, how you're handling your situations at this time, I feel like you're handling them with um, an element of growth. Since you do have the card of growth, it seems like this looks like a hospital room or something like that. So you know that you're, you might be at a stage where you're healing right now because this, this card, the green, represents the heart chakra. So if this may be the uh, matter um, of the heart or situation. Could be that you're learning most of your lessons of growth from relationships with others and with yourself and with divine spirit or your spiritual team just in general so i do see that it's like you're in this um, waiting room it looks like at a hospital so yeah this is an emergency room if you can see it it says emergency room right above it it's kind of blurry but um yeah so you you're at this place where like there may be some urgency to whatever it is that you're dealing with and what you're going through. So you have the Knight of Cups in this position to clarify growth. So definitely something with the heart because cups represent the heart. So the Knight of Cups, it could be that um, you're handling situations by approaching things with an open heart, approaching things from um, a perspective of just flow and openness. So there's an element of openness. You may not be fully open to certain things, maybe you're you're starting to get the hang of the fact that um, not everything comes easy when it comes to matters of the heart. It could be a love situation. It could be a situation with like a platonic connection around you where you're trying to have patience or you're having patience with yourself as you're going through this. Maybe you are um, doing some grounding work. Maybe you're doing some shadow work, some heart chakra clearings and things like that, or you're just facing and confronting your emotions. So that in itself is uh, a very um, mature thing to do uh, rather than acting irrationally. So maybe in the past you have, you may have been the type that jumped to conclusion, quick to anger, um, what was me, you know, pessimism and things like that. But I feel like you're starting to get the hang of seeing that certain things i feel like again there's this energy of urgency with the emergency room so it could be like you know that there's some things that you need to tend to within yourself but you really need to nurture yourself and there's different types of plants here and roots and um like different types of plants so i feel like this can represent different matters of the heart that you're focused on okay so as far as like your emotional state you do have impatience because you do have the emergency room um, here in the growth card next to, right next to it. So you may be communicating or the way that you, you're speaking to spirit could be of a place of impatience. You may be wanting things to happen when you want it to happen, but there's a, a still there's a respect of how things are flowing in a sense. So you have the nine of pentacles clarifying the impatience card. So I feel like you're listening to spirit, you know, but there's something that 
you cannot rush there's a bunny rabbit in the back of this card i don't know if you can see it he's in the garden and there's another depiction of plants and gardens and stuff like that just like in the growth card so you're you're learning to have patience with self i feel in your process within yourself you may be like okay well when is this over when is this healing over you know how much work do i have to do within myself or within a specific situation um so you may be um communicating or praying about this or affirming that you may be impatient or asking spirit to help you with impatience maybe spirit is telling you that you um you have to be patient because the nine is close to completion and nine does represent grounding work and um does represent service as well number nine completions Okay, so once you get to the Ten of Pentacles, that's the full picture, right? That's the full manifestation of something. Maybe this for some of you, I, I don't know. This always comes to me because I usually tap into love energies. That's just what I do. It, it, even if I try not to, <laughs> Spirit will bring a love reading like somehow out of nothing. So I feel for some of you, this is about being patient with love. You may be single right now. Um, or you may be um, maybe waiting for a relationship to get off of the ground with someone in, and you may be growing tired or impatient of another person and maybe you're communicating this to someone. So that's your emotional state. It's the energy of impatience, but knowing that you have to wait and knowing that there's a reason for it. And I feel like you're not dying. You know, it's not a matter of um I can't do this and I'm suffering. I feel like you're handling things pretty well. So let's keep it moving. You have um, the most important thing to you right now is serving, service. So I feel like you're very passionate about people and what you do. Yeah, you're a nurturer. You got the Emperor's card clarifying this card. So you're a nurturer. You're a natural giver. You're someone, you may be a mother. Maybe you're taking care of an elderly mother or grandmother or you work with elderly people. You may be um, a nurse for some of you or a doctor, but I feel like you are someone who's a healer and you may be very focused on taking care of home and family right now. That's where what's most important at your core to you right now is taking care of the needs of others around you. Um, so this could also be business-wise, financially. There's a lot of... Um, plant life here so most of you that chose this could be earth signs Taurus, Virgo Capricorn people but if not you're just a very down-to-earth humble individual and you want everyone in your life to be straight meaning you want everyone to be good happy you know healthy prosperous including yourself of course and it could be that you're just waiting for things to come through for you um, you feel like you've been putting in a lot of work spiritually into things and yourself and into others. And you're just wondering, like, when are things going to come together for me? And that's for some of you. Some of you guys are, some of you guys are like, you work with, um, you may work in a hospital. Some of you guys may actually be going through school, nursing school or something like that. Maybe you want to work with babies and that type of thing. You know, pregnancy is definitely here as well. So let's see what else here. And this represents the sacral or sacral chakra. So this is your passion. So this is what's really important to you. This is what really matters to you. And this is Venetian energy with the Emperor's card, which could be Taurus or Libra energies. But it also represents love. Okay. So moving on to what is it that you really value? You have insecurity. So what are you valuing at this time? What is it that you care about the most? The King of Swords. It could be that you are very, um, I feel like what you're valuing is the importance of your energy, the importance of your heart. There's been some sort of transformation in the matters of the hearts because I'm looking at the king of swords in the middle of his chest and the area of his heart chakra there's a red butterfly and in the heart of this man's chest is a red heart and there's this devil energy that's trying to attack his solar plexus chakra his heart chakra is like he's trying to strip him of his energy he's trying to steal his joy and i feel that what you value the most could very well be um 
removing this fear, this doubt, and these insecurities. You're very dedicated to this. You're very proactive. And I feel like you might even be somewhat of a protective type of person for others. You may pray for people. You may set out intentions for protection around others. A lot of you guys may work with Archangel Michael. I'm getting Archangel Michael energy with this. And maybe there's, a, um, some of you guys could be Libras too. Um, I feel, or there's a Libra, there's someone around you that you're wanting to protect or that um, is dedicated to protecting you and maybe you value this person or you know that this person may be suffering from some insecurities and depression. So you may be, um, you value this individual and this person. You don't want to see this person suffer. Or if this is you, you don't want to see yourself suffer through these things. So you're very proactive in cutting these things off right now. This is current energy. So that's what you feel like. You feel like it's a blessing to be so um, confident or so sure of yourself. Or maybe you feel like you've grown into this person. You've grown into this. And this represents the root chakra. So you're very, very stern on who you are and what you represent. And you're not going to allow anything or anyone to steal your joy. Not even your own mind. Okay. So I feel like you're very careful about how you communicate with yourself. You may have mastered... Um, conquering the ego or the insecurities within your own mind or you are learning to do that okay so your current driving force is gratitude and that's beautiful some of you are definitely pregnant or you work with pregnant women so um some of you guys may definitely be nurses high priestess or that's your um you're a healer you're just a natural healer and a lot of you like you do spiritual healing spiritual work so what's currently driving you right now is gratitude. Like I said, I feel like it's the sacredness within your heart. Like you can't explain. You can't really, because this is the third eye chakra. So maybe you really can't explain what you're feeling, what you're picking up, but you do appreciate everyone in your life. You may feel like something is coming to fruition. You sense it and you feel it with the nine of pentacles, the growth card with the um, emergency room, the empress. You sense that something is coming. It's like something's coming to fruition. You're giving birth to something. And for some of you, it's literal, you know, birth or someone around you, close to you. You just sense this beautiful energy that's coming in. So you just have this this gratitude and you're, you don't really know where it stems from, or maybe you're just extra appreciative of the people that you have around you. So this is what's driving you, this energy of gratitude. Like I'm thankful for all that I have because I might not fully have the 10 of Pentacles just yet, but I have the nine of Pentacles and I'm secure and I'm content with what blessings I have in my life. And this is not just material things, of course. So yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys could be healers or you're very, very in tune with other people, your empaths, or you want to be a nurse. And this woman right here just seems to be content. So it could be like you may to other people, some people may not understand why you're at where you're at within yourself to where you can sit and say that I'm secure where I'm at and I'm not tripping because most people would be like, well, you know, I would be stressed out, but you found a way to. Um, it's like you have a faith and trust. Maybe you're intuitive and you've channeled some information and you just know intuitively that something's coming, but you don't have to know exactly what that is, but you sense it. So moving on to unrealistic expectations that you may have right now, which is perseverance. So the unrealistic expectations you may have for some of you, it is wanting to give up, which is kind of um, contradicting to most of the reading, but for some of you, you may be at a place where you want to give up right before it's time. So in the book of the, the chakra book explaining this card, and I'll never forget it because I think that we need to remember, remind ourselves of this. So in this story, there's this woman here who has this passion for acting and wants to be a big star one day, a big, uh, a famous actress. And she wears this dress as a reminder of who she wishes to become. And she gives up right before this big opportunity acting job or something comes to her she gives up and her guide is like telling her don't give up keep moving persevere so some of you guys may have a um, expectation of um that you're not going to be able to do the things that you you're set out to do you may feel like some of you may be like life is too hard um 
But for some, I do feel this is interesting. And then the card that came with it is the Ace of Cups. So maybe some of you have a um, an unrealistic expectation of love. Like there's something that there's a, a fine line between persevering and a fine line between exhausting all of your options right now or just going against fate. OK, so some of you for majority of you, I feel that it is. A false expectation of something that you wish to receive from another person on an emotional level and I feel like this also goes with the growth and the impatience you're waiting for someone and I feel like you're putting a lot of energy into another person and I, and it, it could be causing okay now it's getting a little deeper okay going back to everything that I've already said for some of you this is going to bring some sort of clarity I feel I feel like you're in this waiting room and this is urgency and waiting for this love to come in. You, you're you handling the situation or handling a specific situation in a matter of you're waiting for someone or something to come in. Um, you have grown though. There's growth here. You want something to grow with someone as well. You're growing impatient. You're tired of being single. You're tired of waiting for someone to come through. Or to, if you're not single, you're dealing with someone. You want this person to bring something specifically to you. Um, you're tired of waiting. Because this person is important to you. You put a lot of energy and work into a connection. You you serve this connection. You, you nurture it. You love it so much. You love this person so much. That even past the insecurities, you're like, I'm, I'm not gonna fall victim to this you know this person could trigger these insecurities out of you and this could be an air sign person it could be a tour um not a tour sorry it could be a libra gemini or aquarian person where you could be but you're putting all this energy into it and there's a part of you what's driving you is that you're grateful for this connection you know that there's something significant about it you may feel like this person helped birth you out, helped bring transformation to you. So it's very hard to let that go. And spirit may be telling you um, that it's time to let it go because this is an un this is an unrealistic expectation that you know I shouldn't give up. I should just keep going. I should continue to wait for this love offer. And for some of you, it's the other way around that you feel like. This expectation that you're never going to succeed and you just want to throw in the towel before it happens. And spirit is saying, no, there is a gift. There is a new beginning for you. There is a spiritual blessing, a gift and peace that's coming to you. You can't give up now before it comes. You know, you're halfway there. So take what resonates. OK, um, if you feel like you've been putting in way too much work and energy into something and it's draining you, I feel like then the unrealistic unrealistic expectation is you wanting to still persevere even though everything is telling you that you need to surrender even if it's for a time okay may not be permanently it could just be for a time or a season or your angels and guides are telling you that something doesn't serve you but you're still trying to attach yourself to it okay so are you how are you expressing yourself you're expressing yourself with some of you, it's lack, and some of you, it's abundance. So how you're perceiving it. The man over here, he's focused on lack. He's stressed out. And this child on the other side is focused on abundance, okay? So this person over here is drinking himself. You know, he's drinking. He's stressed out. He's looking for escapism. So you guys may be expressing yourself in this negative sense, or maybe you fluctuate back and forth between believing and trusting that things are going to come together for you back into stressed out you know being stressed the page of pentacles and that's because you're perceiving that something hasn't fully come together for you you're still waiting for something to take fruit there's a lot of pentacles and earthly energies um that i'm picking up on so some of you are lacking faith and confidence that spirit is going to provide for you and does not have to be on a physical um, or it doesn't have to be on a materialistic or financial standpoint, but for some of you it is. But I just get that it's this back and forth energy. You're wavering back and forth in faith and trust that things are going to be provided for you. Some of you guys are focused on the living situation because it's back here. It says a house for sale. So some of you guys may be wanting to buy a home or change residence or you're wanting to sell a home and you're just like, okay, well, is anybody going to buy it? There's a lot of stress that's coming 
from this energy right here. So you're expressing from either or. And some of you guys are like, I know that spirit has my back. I know that I'm a child of the divine and the universe. And whatever it is that I believe, I shall receive, whether that's good or bad. But I'm believing that the seeds that I've planted, the things that I've asked for that are truly of my highest good are coming in. And some of you guys are like, well, where the hell is it? Or I'm way over here as a page of pentacles. I'm trying to be the empress. I'm trying to get to that. I'm trying to surpass the ten of pentacles. I'm trying to surpass the king of pentacles even. I want to be the empress. I want full abundance. So when is everything that I've been asking for going to come to me? So this is that type of vibe and this type of energy. So some of you... Um, with the childlike energy, because there's two children in these cards. There's one with the page and one here in this card. So I feel like this has something to do with, well, when am I going to have stability in my, my household, my family, for my children? Or when am I going to have children? When am I going to start a family? Or it could just be you feel, it's like spirit wants you to tap into your inner child as well and trust like a child would trust it's like have faith and for some of you this is going to school to be a nurse to work with children because i get a lot of um for fertility and and pregnancy energies from these cards so that's where how you're communicating and how you're expressing yourself so your romantic outlook right now is dissipation so you have dissipating some of you are looking at your love life like you're going to be single forever. Like, I'm just going to be this this elderly man or woman that's single. I'm going to be lonely. I'm just going to have like a, this a bird here. So be careful of how you're communicating. This could also be a lack of confidence. Um, but I also feel like for some of you, there's an elderly person that you're putting a lot of your heart and energy into. You may be traveling to take care of an elderly parent or grandparent, or aunt, or uncle, or something like that. Um, for some of you, yeah, it's just like you feel like split between paths. Like you don't know if you're going to be single forever or not. And some of you may be like, do I really want to be in a relationship or do I want to be single? Um, you may feel like you're just deteriorating, waiting for someone forever. Like, am I going to be waiting on this person forever? Is this person ever going to get it together? And when I say single, it doesn't necessarily mean that you don't have someone. Maybe singlehood to you is like, you're, you haven't been married yet. I'm missing two cards, so. So, um, like, when am I going to get married? Is it ever going to happen with the chariot card? And this could be, like, a cancer. So this could be, I'll get into the major arcanas, but these are, like, important things to note, the major arcanas. Um, and there's yellow in this card as well. And the dissipating card is yellow represents the solar plexus. So this could be lacking in faith and confidence. And you're just kind of like losing your passion for love. Some of you guys are like, yeah, it could be losing passion for it or just feeling like you're not sure. Like you're, you might be confusing the universe with what's in your heart because it's like split in two different directions or you're saying two different things, or you're struggling between your shadow self and your higher self when it comes to how you're perceiving love right now. Um, but for others of you, your love is going to an elderly person. You're putting a lot of energy and service into this person, I feel, or you work with elderly people, and maybe one specifically that has your heart that you love, you know, you have uh, compassion for, and, um, you know, they become your family, I feel, for some of you. Now, when it comes to how you're taking action, you have trickery. So be very mindful of your intentions in your heart because they may not be completely clear. So you have the Ace of Swords. Um, it's not in reverse. It's the way I laid it down. But if you want to take it in that content, it could be an Ace of Swords in reverse. But I'm getting more so with the trickery card. This is more of um, mindfulness of the intentions within your heart because there could be you know, some of you may be perceiving that certain things that you say that you want, you feel like they truly are what you want and they may not be. They could be coming from a place of insecurity because the trickery card is right in alignment with the insecurity card. And you have a lot of air energy too. So the Ace of Swords here, um, this could be in regards to an air sign person. Like you have to be very clear in your mind as to what it is that you want or who you want and why you want it or why you want to be with a person if that's what this is about for some of you i feel like it is for others it could be other things 
Um, and also, this is a matter of confronting your biggest fear. So some of you guys are confronting your biggest fear for the sake of your true heart's desire. Like, I'm going to face these insecurities and these evil monsters. Because it's funny that you have these monster-like beings in, in the same alignment. Like, they're right, one's right above one another. So it's like they relate almost in a sense. And you got these two swords cards. So maybe some of you guys might want to try affirmations or maybe like I said some of you guys may have already been doing this affirming that you're releasing yourself writing out your fears and your doubts and um to release them or asking Archangel Michael to protect you or to cut cords with things or to release like I said so some of you guys are not allowing the trickery of your ego to stop you from your truest heart's desires I feel and for others um it could be like you know the truth or you have to confront the truth about what it is that you truly want in your heart and why you have that opportunity to do that. Or if you've taken that opportunity, you're cutting the things out in your life that no longer serve you. So and this is a process of growth as well. This is a growth for a lot of you. So where do you need some freedom? You have complacency. So maybe you've grown complacent. There's a lot of elderly people in these cars. I really feel like a lot of you fear that you're never going to um live out your dreams you feel like you're gonna be like old and gray and like disappointed that you didn't live life or that you didn't get to accomplish something or reach a fulfillment or that you're gonna be lonely or something that's like a fear for a lot of you that I'm picking up with the temperance card it's like this timing thing like some of you may be waiting you've gotten complacent with things and it's kind of like time is passing you by a little bit and you have to free yourself from worrying about timing and worrying about um when things are going to come together and start living because there's this isolative energy she's in this she's like in the cold and this is like a very stubborn energy it's a root chakra so I feel like the roots of these situations if you look at all the root chakra cards you have insecurity and complacency so this could be a deeply rooted thing for you guys that you have to release is this energy of complacency and insecurity because your insecurities can also be keeping you stuck and stagnant and complacent and kind of just like, yeah, this needs to be healed. So I'm seeing the temperance card as an angel or ancestor that's already over this situation to help heal, to help free you from this energy. And I feel like for a lot of you too, this is Archangel Michael, the King of Swords, um, is here to help you break free of these things. Because I feel like intuitively, Spirit is speaking to you about some things and Spirit may be telling you to be grateful um, of your experiences and things that you have in your life and stop looking at yourself as empty and continue to persevere because you have all that you need and you you will continue to attract and manifest more but you have to be willing to to grasp it because it's all in how you're perceiving things okay and like I said some of you may be growing impatient like well when is this all going to come together not seeing that you're already abundant and blessed you know um, in time, I feel like every the hard work, the service and the effort that you've been putting in, you know, that you felt guided to do in your lifetime, all of that is going to come together. Don't worry about it, but don't sit stagnant and waiting for things to come together. I feel like continue to flow through these energies. Keep your heart open and flow and grow. Okay. So... Yeah, continue to keep moving. I feel like spirit's guiding you. You cannot be of a split mind and a split heart. You have to be completely whole within your thinking and within what it is that you want. And that's just a matter of fine tuning your energy and finding and figuring it out. But you have to trust the process. I feel like spirit is speaking to you because you have these birds. You have a yellow bird here and you have a bird in the garden with the nine of pentacles. So these birds can definitely represent messengers. So I feel like Spirit is speaking to you about these things, about in, in patience and um, this energy of feeling like everything is just kind of like deteriorating. Nothing's moving forward. Nothing's happening. So some of you could definitely be Taurus and Libras or Cancers or Sagittarius's, maybe even Pisces. Um, that may resonate with this the most and may have this heavy in your chart. Okay, just keep that in mind or it could be one of your... Um, in your Jupiter's, your Pluto, Neptune, Mercury, your Venus sign, your Mars, or your or in your Uranus um, placements, whatever some of these signs, but just take what resonates because I feel um, also Virgo energy too. Some Virgos, 
But yeah, just keep in mind that this, like, Spirit's trying to help you move past these energies. Um, you know, your higher self is telling you to have gratitude and really focus on the spiritual aspect of, you know, being grateful and have confidence that, you know, you are abundant and that you will have abundance. And abundance does not only represent material things and material success, okay? Um, also take care of yourself as well. Take care of your body. You know, these a lot of plants here. So this could be telling you to eat more plant-based um, food. Allow your heart to expand and grow, you know. Follow your passions. Live out your purpose and follow, you know, give in a way that you feel guided to give, but not to the point where you deplete yourself. And listen to your heart. Listen to your feelings and your emotions. And be very mindful how you're communicating with the universe. Be, you know, be present. There's no need to rush and to worry about things. Spirit's got you. So you have a lot of spiritual guides too I'm seeing in these cards. There's some ancestors here. Oops. There's some ancestors here too. Um, you got some angels. You got an angel here. You have a spirit guide here with this woman in the red dress. You have a spirit guide here in the background. You have some ancestors here in the background. So, yeah, you're being guided. You're not just floating out here just doing this all by yourself. So, yeah, this was the reading. If you guys would like to book a reading with me, you guys can check my description box. Um, if you guys would like to take advantage of my spooky sale that I have going right now, it's available all of October. Um, I posted a video about it on my channel, or you can also check out my community section um, on my channel for more information about that sale. If you guys are interested, it's a discount price on some of my most popular readings and some exclusive readings for this month are that are available on that sale. So much love to you. If you guys have any suggestions for the next pick a card reading, um, that may serve the collective, leave it in the comment section. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. All right. Pile number two. This is for those of you who chose the eight of clubs card. So this is your reading. I'm going to shuffle the cards on camera like I did the other pile. Um... And as always, I have to state that these readings are general. They're not personal readings. So if you're new to tarot readings or oracle messages or whatever, please be mindful that we're tapping, as a reader, we're tapping into multiple energies in the collective. So some messages that are channeled may not be for everyone. So you have to take the messages that stand out to you specifically. Okay, so please be respectful in the comments. I don't take no bullshit. I will block you. Um, so for those of you who are appreciative of the readings that these, you know, that readers put out for free, you know, these free readings that do take a lot of energy that when you're really putting your heart and soul and energy into these readings, um, it can be a little bit, <laughs> it can be a little bothersome when people, you know, come at you and are disrespectful and, you know, they're just disrespectful to other readers. So please be respectful. And I appreciate those of you that are respectful. All right, and I appreciate those of you that have been supporting me in my channel. So I'm just going to shuffle these cards on camera. I've already prayed um, in the first um, group, so we're divinely protected. You got forgiveness. You have quest. Bittersweet. Perception. Impatience. You guys have a lot of throat chakra cards. Wisdom. And a lot of heart chakra cards. Growth. Faith. Service and miracle okay all right so let's pull some tarot as well to clarify um, okay so let's get into your reading so you have forgiveness and this represents how you're handling the situation in your life right now okay so whatever situation for you watching is going to be different from the next person watching. So please take a resonance. But forgiveness with this rhino, it's almost, excuse me, like he's nurturing and protecting this child. Why is this baby in the forest or child in the forest? I don't know. 
I'm getting this where the wild things are type of vibe from this card. I love that movie. That's my movie. Where the wild things are. And um, there's like these creatures or these like people or beasts like in the in the bushes. So there's like a lot of protective energy I get from this card. So maybe you need to forgive yourself that your inner child needs your forgiveness. Um, maybe you feel like you weren't, you didn't protect yourself enough. Maybe you feel very vulnerable or something, or you feel like you weren't there enough for a child or your children or something. Maybe you feel this sense of forgiveness, like I should have protected you or I could have done better. Um, or you just feel very vulnerable, like you allowed something or someone to take advantage of you. But I'm getting more so that this is a need to forgive self, okay? I do see this. Um, and I'm getting inner child energy with this. Let's clarify, because this is the crown shock or the third eye chakra card. So I feel like there is something within you that knows that there's a need to forgive. And I also want to look at my um, my animal book with a rhino means, because I'm getting like a, a peaceful vibe from this rhino. So, first card is the High Priestess. The High Priestess is clarifying forgiveness, and the High Priestess does represent the higher self. This does represent the spirit, Jill Thane. This represents the hidden wisdom and knowledge, the subconscious, okay? But the veil between the consciousness and the subconscious. Um, so, I feel that intuitively you do know that there's a need for forgiveness. You know this, okay? Whether it's forgiving yourself. Because I kind of feel like there's this person sitting with themselves and they feel very... I'm getting the word vulnerability a lot. I keep hearing the word vulnerable. So, you may feel very vulnerable spiritually. Maybe you feel like you've allowed someone to take advantage of you energetically or something. Or in the past, you're thinking about things as a child. So, I'm going to look up what a rhino means. H-K-L-N-N-O. There's ours. Rhin okay, rhinoceros. Ancient wisdom. Put your life in a perspective and trust your own wisdom. Be more discriminating. Do not distrust the foundation you have laid. Okay, so this, this is um, an element of trust. You, you have to trust your intuition, okay? That's what that rhino represents. There's a part of you that does feel vulnerable and it could be teaching you how to be more discerning. Um, like the cards, um, the rhinoceros, it said something about being discriminate, like discriminating. So you have to be very mindful and, and maybe create some boundaries. And if there's a child involved, um, there's something maybe that you're learning that, okay, well, not everyone needs to be around my children or I have to be more discerning about that. Or maybe this is just a concern that you already have, okay? So handle the situation by listening to your intuition. Do not discount it because you can definitely trust it. You have a third eye chakra card very, um, clarified by the high priestess, which is a very intuitive energy. All right. So your emotional state is you have quest, which is a throat chakra card. So I feel like emotionally, I feel like your, your higher self is communicating to you um, through your emotions and letting you know about a specific path okay so it may seem like you have two different options or you may be conflicted and confused as to what option to take you could be um seeing things from one perspective and you have a, an, a guide or angel that's assisting you and guiding you with making some decision or finding some sort of balance so i'm getting the same type of energy with this card because they're working with two different elements here. And then there's two different sceneries here. So it's just this energy of balancing. And you do have some sort of ancestor or spirit guide that's helping you. And there's a child again. So it's like you're having to learn and surrender and trust yourself. Like a child would trust um, and a parent or someone that's a guardian to them. So it's like trusting in your angels and ancestors as well. That really truly have your best interests, of course. But... So like emotionally, like you're communicating with yourself, like there's something spiritual. I know that I'm, I can't take certain things lightly, that I know that there's something bigger than what I'm seeing. Um, some of you guys may, you may have a child that you feel like is intuitive, okay? So you may be trying to pay attention very closely because you're trying to figure out what this child's purpose is and their path is. 
But for others of you, I feel like you are this child energy that I'm picking up on. And I feel like what is being like your emotional self, like your emotional state is like, it's communicating to you that there is something relevant and important and that your path is laid out for you and that you can make a choice. There's no right or wrong choice or decision that your angels have your back. And I feel like this also represents like, you know, divine timing as well. Something about divine timing. And then you have bittersweet, which is also another throw chakra card. And this represents what's, you know, important at, to you at this time at your core. So what's important to you right now is I feel that you know there's like you're getting the message that there's something that you need to free yourself. From. It's this childlike energy. I keep getting it. So a lot of you may be thinking about your childhood a lot. You may have just had a birthday or your birthday is coming up and it's just like you could be coming of age. Some of you watching may be 18 or maybe you're turning 21. Maybe you're going to turn 18 or you just turned 18 or you're going to turn 21 or you've already turned 21, if that makes sense. So it's like this coming of age or even as a full-blown adult, grown person, you, you're you changing and you there's like this rebirth that's happening and you're thinking about this time of your life right now. And it's like this bittersweet energy because you are clearing yourself. You're clearing energy. You have the strength card clarifying this, okay? You have a lot of major arcana cards so far, at least. But... um this is very important because I feel like it requires your something re it requires your attention. Something requires your inner strength. And I feel like the things that you've gone through in the past was to give you that inner strength and that pride in yourself for the things that you have overcome and accomplished. And I feel like that's what is most important to you. Like, you know, my progression and my growth is most important, but I know that it's, it came with some pain. It came with some tough times. It came with some tough experiences. So, but nonetheless, there's like this positive energy within this bittersweet as well. And there's this peacefulness that's coming from the dove because doves represent peace. Um, and I feel like that's what this is about for you. You have peace and whew, there's something with a child that may have passed on. And I feel like you have to forgive yourself for that, for whatever reason. I don't want to go into it too much because I'm getting different scenarios like you had to do what you had to do type of thing for some of you and others you, you're blaming something that was out of your control and this child is like a guardian angel to you I see this as a guardian angel some of you guys maybe their birthday is coming up and you may be celebrating this child's birthday. Or maybe your children are growing up and, and going amongst the world. And maybe you're looking back at how you raised them. And maybe you're blaming yourself or judging yourself. Like maybe I didn't do a good enough job. Or I hope I did good enough raising my children. So there's just a lot of different things that's coming. But you have to forgive yourself and have peace. Okay. And again, like Spirit is saying, to trust your intuition. You only knew what you knew at the time, you know, what was at, what was best for you at that moment, okay? So, that's what I'm seeing for some of you. Now, what is it that you currently value? What What's what's important to you? What are you valuing? That sounds weird. I'm trying to, like, it doesn't even sound right saying it. What is it that you value the most at this time? You have perception. Perception is everything. And I feel like this comes with wisdom, so you have like this emerald gem here. So you could be born in May. I'm an emerald. I'm a, a May baby. So you may be born in May. Or it's just like this sacred gem, this energy of wisdom. And this is the heart chakra. So I feel like your heart, you value the, your perception of your heart and what's your core truth within self. There's butterflies here. So as... The season changed, so do you, and you're recognizing this. And I feel like you're looking backwards, but it's like almost in essence like she's looking forward, but she's looking backwards for wisdom. And you have the Queen of Swords, which does definitely represent wisdom, okay? Um, your perception is everything to you, and I feel like you're someone who is, you could be a Gemini, a, a Gemini born in May. 
but you're very, very discerning and um, very wise, at least in this position. And I feel like it's very important for you that you see everything clearly and they're both looking back backwards. They're looking towards the past. So I feel like you do know in essence that the certain experiences from your past shaped you as to who you are. Make sure that you don't harden your heart because I get a lot of soft loving energies and um, but maybe you feel like I was too soft. I was too vulnerable, too open. And you kind of want to be like rough and tough and no one can, you know, nobody can mess with me type of person. And spirit is saying like, it's okay to protect yourself and create boundaries, but don't harden your heart. Okay. Don't harden your heart because of the things that you've experienced. And maybe for some of you, you're like, these are the things that made me strong and I value that. These things have helped me in the perception of myself and in my life and where I'm headed and where I'm going. Okay. So what is your current driving force right now? Impatience. So you could be a little bit restless with when it comes to the process of something or process of growth. Could be process of a material project or something, a creative project, career, or just your life getting it back in order because it seems like you want to start something new with this ace of pentacles on this side okay so you have six pentacles here on this side of the garden and you have this other pentacle here so i feel like you feel like you put a lot of energy and a lot of work into something and you want to see it pay off some of this is kind of sounds similar to pile one a little bit like you might resonate with some things in that pile by the way um because some of some of the same cards did come out but I get like you may be a little bit impatient when it comes to the growth of a situation or growth within self. So I feel like it's more so of like growth because the seven to me represents like the higher self. So, but you have to trust spirit. And I feel like how you're communicating is like, you may talk about your past a lot. You may communicate about your path and your journey and how it wasn't easy and it's like it's also like you feel like you need to be at a certain space within yourself right now so let's keep it moving you have the wisdom card and the wisdom card this represents your unrealistic unrealistic expectations like you don't have to know everything right now. And it could be like you're going back again to the past where you didn't know everything. So there's this sage, some sage here, these sage plants and this sage, this wise sage in the back. Um, then you have the queen of pentacles clarifying that card. So it's kind of like you're very wealthy in wisdom. You're very um, blessed when it comes to where you stand and how much you've gathered, how much you've learned, because you're here to share that with others. And I also see some of you guys are earth signs too. She has a globe in her solar plexus chakra, although this is a, a, a heart chakra card. She has a globe in her solar um, solar plexus. So this could be like you're a very nurturing person by like you just naturally want to give and protect. And you see this pinnacle, she's holding it by her solar plexus as well. So I get that this is confidence within your heart. You may have this unreal expectation of yourself like you're meant to. Um, it's like wanting to take on too much right now. Like you're wise and, and masterful in certain areas of your life. But that doesn't mean that you have to jump from point A to point B and do everything and be there for everyone. I feel it's like this mothering energy. It's not quite like the Empress because it's not a healthy boundary almost. Because the Empress is like, she has healthy boundaries when it comes to her giving and her nurturing. She has enough to go around. So she's very careful about what she gives. The Queen of Pentacles has a lot to offer as well. But it's at the same time, she has only one pentacle in her hand. And it's like, she may be willing to give all of that up. So it's still like this lesson of learning of trusting your intuition and being discerning about what you're giving so again forgive yourself have compassion for the times that you may have been too giving and too dress to trusting of people that took advantage of that or where you were vulnerable 
but take this wisdom with you and and use it still there's a lot to be learned still okay you don't have to know it all you you didn't have to know you know you again it goes back to the past like if you feel like well why did i do this and you know blaming yourself remind yourself that you only knew what you knew at that time some of you guys may want to um cleanse yourself too you have a lot of um heart chakra cards so maybe working on your heart chakra okay so some forgiveness for sure i feel and i feel like you know this how are you expressing yourself okay so how are you expressing yourself you may be expressing yourself from the heart the truth of who you are the ace of wands passionately passionately like I've come a long way. Like I've put in a lot of work. I've put in a lot of effort. You're in the emergency room. So something needed to be acted upon or tended to. You may be communicating in a way like I have a lot of work to do. I have to do this. I have to. And if it's not that, then it could be being there for other people. It's like this sense of urgency or you feel like spirit is putting this obligation on you to start new Um you know, to elevate you or to grow in some sort of sense or some sort of area. So you have a lot of heart chakra, heart centered energy. It's this passion in your heart. Like you're expressing things. And when you speak about your growth and where you come from, it comes from a place of passion. So you could be someone who's a public speaker. You could be a teacher. You could be, um, you're just speaking about this with other people around you or you feel like people that may benefit from this, from you you know, your wisdom and your experiences. So where is your romantic outlook right now? Romantic outlook you have is faith, which is the crown chakra or the third eye chakra, sorry. So there's this woman again with the globe and her solar plexus. So you're having faith that what you're giving birth to is like almost like you feel like love as far as love is concerned um, it's like a collective, like the collective will benefit from something in your love life or your experiences in love, maybe. You feel almost like you're a spiritual teacher. So maybe you are, or you trust that your spiritual team is bringing um, something to you when it comes to your love life. Like you have faith in your spiritual team when it comes to love, five of pentacles. Because I feel like you know that they're not going to leave you out in the cold like that. That you are way too valuable, way too loved. And it could be thinking about all the things that you've gone through that's causing you to feel this way. Now, if it's the opposite, it could be your outlook is that you're lacking in faith with the Five of Pentacles, feeling down and out, not feeling good enough, feeling like you will never find someone that will, you know, um, resonate with you or someone you feel like no one wants to put up with me and I'm no good. And it's like this man is like, you know, pick yourself up. Get off the ground, stop looking at things in a negative sense, and let's go knock on this door and ask for what we want. Like, this is the church doors. This is a church. This is the holy place. So when we ask, we shall receive, right? And I feel, and there's even, there's a, um, a spirit guy right here, or a cinder master, whatever. He is an ancestor with his hands open with the chalice in it, like the ace of cups. So it's like, it's there. It's, it can be given to you, but you have to perceive that it's there and for some of you you can't see it and you can't know it because this man is cloaked he's dressed in a cloak so some of you are not able to see it and it's based off of your perception it's this perception of lack with the five of pentacles that needs to shift fives represent shifts and changes okay so this means this needs to change because this is what how you're seeing things on a spiritual level and that's not good for some of you, I feel like it's the opposite. Of course, you see it, you know it. And some of you believe it before you even see it. Like, you just know. Like, there's no way that the universe or my angels or whatever would ever play me and cheat me out of love or out of what I'm asking for in my love life or when it comes to how I relate to others because it doesn't have to just be romantically. So... What actions, like what, where are you taking action? Service, which is the sacral chakra. So you're taking action with being in service to others. You're giving back. You're taking care of those around you. You're taking care of loved ones or your soul tribe, Knight of Pentacles, because you feel like you have something to offer and you do. You are, this is this down to earth energy, very patient, nurturing person, very attentive person. 
someone that's loyal and trustworthy, almost like a spirit guide too. So you're a guide to some people. And this could be just what you do for a living. You could be a spiritual teacher. I feel for some of you, that's who you are. This is what you do for a living. Or you could be a therapist or you could be just, you know, a teacher at a school or college or, um, you know, or you just, as you go along life and your journey, you're constantly dropping jewels and helping people and being in service and you're passionate about this, I feel. So where do you need some freedom? You got the miracle card with the magician. So where do you need freedom? Spirit is saying that you have to believe in miracles. And that's for those of you that don't trust, you know, the process and you're beating yourself up very heavily. Like you have to believe the spirit can or the universe. You're a walking miracle in itself. You know, you got to think about it like you were a little spermy sperm swimming in somebody, you know, <laughs> and you came and you blossomed and you're here. You know, it's a blessing and a curse to be here on this planet. But see this as a blessing and a miracle that we also have the, the ability and the power to manifest and create worlds you know whether we're male or female we can create things based off of our intentions our feelings our thoughts our words you know what we write you know what we sing what we imagine you know we have that power and it's the things that you've gone through it could it's way deeper than that and it's this energy coming out of this tree so some of you guys may need to ground yourself in order to see the blessings or get in touch with nature to really pay attention to how nature moves and how it flows and how the animals flow with nature and how they trust and how they, they're just in their being and they're still provided for in their being, how they will find and make a way out of nothing. Not every, everything has a process and when we die, we transform, we go through a rebirth process. You can look at nature and you can look at a tree, how a tree stands so tall and amongst the storms. And there's times where trees do, you know, eventually fall, but they're still beautiful. They're still connected to nature and connected to earth, even if they're not physically rooted and connected any longer. But you have to look at, you know, the birds and how they create their own habitats out of nothing. You know, they move when they have to. They they trust it's it's a it's an element of trust and if you think about butterfly pro the process of a butterfly you know caterpillars into butterflies and that whole process you have to look at how beautiful nature is in itself and i feel like this is a need to ground and have confidence that you can create it you can manifest you have to be free with your also be free with your creativity you know and the magician how i see him is like a person that uses the tools that he has to make something happen like when i first started my channel i didn't have no like i didn't have money for um you know set up stuff and you know tripods and stuff like that you know what i mean so i had to like use a random something to prop up my camera to record and at the time i didn't have anything to record with um, cause I wasn't, I use my phone most of the time, but I didn't have like a tablet, iPad or anything at the time. I had to use someone else's device to upload my stuff. So it was like, you have to like, that doesn't stop the show though. You can make it work. You can make it happen. You know, whether it's you're a performer and you don't have all the costume stuff, you can't afford this, but you can find something in the closet and make it happen, make it work. And sometimes that's what you have to do. There were some Halloween where I was a little kid, where I didn't always ha get the chance to go to Party City, have the opportunity to go get a costume. Sometimes I just made costume, like, you know, put on a wig, put on a dress or something, and I'm Tina Turner, like, and that's a real story too, by the way. But you can make a way out of something, okay? And this is just utilizing it. And it can also be fake it till you make it, but I don't like using that term, but it could be like, I don't really trust so much, but I'm going to just like, pretend and play pretend like I'm already where I want to be and who I want to be in life and you start manifesting from that simple energy that's that so spirit says you got to be free with yourself and your creativity and your and self-mastery and utilizing your gifts you have a lot of major arcana cards so you guys are very powerful at manifesting you guys are very strong individuals you're very in tune individuals very healing very nurturing people um 
Some of you guys could be Pisces or Cancers. You guys could be Sagittarius, Leos, um, Geminis, um, Aquariuses, Libras, Tauruses, maybe even um, Virgos as well. Maybe Capricorn, yeah, yeah, all Earth signs. Or you have these things in your ascendant, your moon, your sun, or your Jupiter, your Pluto placement, Neptune, Mercury, you know, Venuses, Mars, Uranus, whatever. So just keep that in mind, you guys. Um, I really get heart chakra work. You also have a lot of um, throat chakra cards, too. So you might want to work on your throat chakra. And I hope that this reading resonated with those whom it was meant to resonate with. If it did, feel free to like this video. You guys have any suggestions for the next pick a card reading if it might serve the collective you guys can leave it in the comment section um just keep in mind that these readings are general they're not personal readings okay so if you guys would like your own personal reading you guys can check out my website um also i have a spooky sale which is available all of october it's a discount reading or discount reading some of my most popular readings and some exclusive readings at a discount I posted a video about it on my channel, or you guys can check my community tab on my channel for more information about it. And I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Take care. Peace. What's up there, pile number three? This is for those of you who are drawn to the Eight of Hearts card. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into your reading. I'm going to shuffle on camera. And as a disclaimer, in case you guys are new to my channel, that these readings are not personal readings. They're general collective energies. So they're not subject to resonate fully as a personal reading. You would have to get a personal reading with a reader to tap into your energy specifically to get specific messages for you only rather than collectively. Because as a, you know, as a reader, as a channeler, we're picking up multiple messages so that they may resonate with certain people. So not that every message is gonna resonate with this person or that person. So please use your own intuition and discernment, okay? Please be respectful. I will block anyone with any negative comments. You're not gonna tell me how to do and run things on my channel, you'll get blocked. So please be respectful of the time and energy that readers put into these readings, especially if they're really putting their heart and soul into this and they're really authentic in what they do and they really want to help people. There's no reason why you should be on somebody's channel talking outside your neck. So if you come on my channel with that, I will block you. I'm not even going to say anything to you. I'm just going to block you, okay? <laughs> so for those of you who have been supportive and appreciative and those of you who are kind to other readers, I appreciate you. Thank you. And... um. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into this reading. I'm using the chakra cards first, but I'm going to also clarify with some tarot as well. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Alrighty. I have what I need. Okay, so let's start with you, pile three, with. What is it that, you know, a current situation and your situations are all unique. So take what resonates. But how are you handling your current situation right now? You have discovery. I love this card. I love the story within this card. I'm going to read this from the book. If you guys don't mind. Because I love it. I think you need to hear it. There's a reason for it. I feel like you need to hear it. And you have the page of wands clarifying it. So some of you guys, you're embarking on a new, a brand new start, a new beginning. So let's read the discovery card. This is a root chakra card, by the way. So this may be the root or one of the roots of a situation. You have a lot of root chakra cards. You have um, four root chakra cards. That's the most chakra, the most um, cards out of one chakra that you have in your spread. Next, it's the heart chakra and the throat chakra, which you have two of each. Okay, so let's see. Um, where is it? Discovery. Where are you? Okay. Discovery. Okay. Discovery says, I am more than I think I am. So the legend of this card, it says, life is easy for young pink. He takes his gifts for granted until one day he loses 
um, Potina, if I'm pronouncing it right, I think that's a flower, the love of his life, forcing him on an inner journey. He works hard on himself, hoping for another chance that doesn't come in desperation. He consults Sky God and learns that she is incapable of receiving love. Pink recognizes that she, her, recognizes that the lovers, you know, the lover's role in his life has been expand, has been to expand his capacity to love. The inspiration of this card, it says, are you trying to recapture a past that no longer fits? If you are presently upset or struggling with a difficult situation, you may be seeking to keep something that is far less than what you deserve. Personal inquiry. Am I happy in this situation? How is it benefiting me? The healing of predetermined agreements must be addressed. Awareness is healing. Okay, key ideas. Leaving the past behind. A readiness for a new adventure. Page of Wands. A willingness to venture into uncharted territory. A new level of self-care. Keywords. Uplift, journey, and meditation. So that's interesting. So some of you guys, it literally could be a situation where you had a lot of love for people. I'm not getting just solely romantic, but for some of you, it could be that. But I'm getting this love in general, that you loved people beyond the strongest capacity. And when it didn't work, you felt really bad. Or when you had to walk away from certain people, you feel really bad. And you have a lot of love in your heart. Some of you guys could still be holding on to that. I get like with this pink energy, it's unconditional love. You know, red is more of... Like red hearts and stuff to me are more of like passionate, sexual, romantic energies. But the pink is more of a fluid, unconditional, pure, loving energy. If that makes sense. It's for anyone. You know what I mean? So the page of wands is that your current energy is that you're discovering your deepest capacity to love. And that certain things were just there to crack that open as a catalyst. I feel like spirit is speaking to you very clearly because you're moving into a new phase of your journey. And there's no time to look back. Although... It appears as though the Page of Wands is looking back, but he's actually looking forward. So that's what I'm getting with that. As far as your emotional state, you have the Heart Chakra card, Wisdom. So your emotional state is that you may have already discovered that, yeah, this is what it is. I know the truth may not be a, a sweet, comfy truth because the swords, nonetheless, they're like straightforward, straight up, but they're sharp. So sometimes it could cut deep. The truth can hurt. You know, it's a victory in knowing the truth, but it's not always that it's going to be a light and fluffy truth. So I feel like you guys are wise people. You guys are old souls. So your emotional wisdom is that, or your emotional state is that you have wisdom as to certain things. And I feel like your spirit guide is like, yes, boo, you got it. You got this. And some of them are just praying that you understand and that you see this. And some of you guys are seeking that clarity, but it's there. The truth is right there. Maybe you received some sort of communication or you got a sign that, you know, you're moving on to a new journey and you're clearing your heart chakra. You may find that what you're doing is clearing, okay? Or that maybe you need to cut something out of your heart. It doesn't have to be like a person it could be an energy it could be a, a feeling that doesn't feel good to you because you have grief and this card makes me sad like i hate this card it makes me sad so you have core importance to you grief what's important to you you have this dog the dog passed away i'm not gonna read the story in the book but basically she um had this she had this puppy that she raised and he passed on and she was very hurt by it and a lot of people didn't understand why she was so distraught over a pet or an animal. And pets are a part of us as well. They're part of nature. We're all a part of nature. So we all have a special connection with things. Um, I've had some like connections to my crystals that sometimes I get emotional. I had a crystal that I was so close to. It was a rose cord. It was my first crystal that I ever got. I didn't know what it was for and what it was used for. I was like, it's pink. I love pink. So I was drawn to it. And at that time, I was going through a lot. And it was kind of like my companion because I would carry that everywhere I went. I would put it in my pocket. I would put it in my purse. I would sleep with it under my pillow. So when it was time for me to let it go, because Spirit was like, put it in the ground, like bury it. Because it was a symbolism of me burying all the emotions and all the energies that I had purged out into it. And it made me cry. And... It was like 
everything is a living like everything is a part of nature and it's a living thing so it has a spirit and an essence and energy and auric so if you're grieving over the loss of something even though it may seem as though it's dead the love and that energy is still there and i feel like you're just making peace with it so what's important to you is that you may be making peace with something the seven of pentacles but you're giving yourself that time and patience to grow through this grow and go through this situation you're not in a rush because there's a bunny rabbit that's passing this man's path it's like the booty of the rabbit you can't really see it but it's like his butt is like sticking out like he's jumping into the grass and this man is still sturdy he's still fixed he's not in a rush because what pentacles to me they represent slow and steady energies and energy that require patience and effort and nurturing and, and they are growth they represent growth as well and material abundance and whatnot so I feel like you know that you don't have to rush the process and that you're just here to flow. So your heart chakra is clearing. You're clearing your heart. Some of you guys may have lost a pet. And my condolences, and I lost one last year too. It was pretty tragic how, what happened to him. And, but he's a guy to me. I love him. That's my boo. And I'm still like, there's times where I still talk about him. And I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, people around me are like, I don't care. Like, he's gone. He's dead. Like, stop, like, talking about it. But he was a, he was one of my, I, I, um, he's my cat's baby. So I raised him, and I have one of her other babies, too. But he passed away, like, in a tragic way. I had to put him to sleep. Um, so you may still be getting over that. Like, uh, something that passed, or a person that passed on, or a relationship that you had to to let go of because it was here to help you expand your capacity to love it reminds me of the wizard of oz like um i saw that it was like a like an inner journey like the wizard of oz not like a physical outer journey i feel like the different characters represented something within dorothy's consciousness if that makes sense so like toto was like her spirit guide um the scarecrow represented her her mind, her intellect, her wisdom, her creativity. The tin man represented her heart. The lion represented her inner strength, her inner courage, you know, the ability to confront and face her fears and her belief that she could get home. So it was like this journey to get home, but it was like the journey of discovering the power within yourself was already there. You already had it all along. So I feel... I don't even know where I was going with that, but that just came to me. But <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. But I feel like everything, like every person and every aspect of your journey is to help you to expand, not just your heart, but to expand you as a person. So not everything is meant to stay. It's just a part of the journey and the memories will be there. The love may still be there for certain people and experiences. And I don't feel like spirit saying like, you got to let that go. It's just saying to accept what is and live life and have make peace with that and know that this is a journey of self for the most part but that doesn't mean that you're walking alone it doesn't necessarily mean that so you know but for some of you you do feel that way because the hermit card is here with bittersweet so what are you valuing you're valuing your peace and space right now even though you feel like this may be a journey right now that's a little lonely but this is a journey of self-reflection self-awareness and it is bittersweet because you know that you're going through a birthing process you see how it's like this child has a birthday cake and there's this woman um i feel like this is a part of you that's coming out you're giving birth to yourself the page of wands is a child energy as well as a messenger so there's this desire and this anxiousness to start fresh on your journey you may be um seeing the fact that the past was not so easy but it's necessary. It helped you become a wiser person. You see that now. You're aware of this and you value the fact that the things that you've gone through have made you wiser. You may be celebrating the people in your life that helped you to get here. Even if they were assholes to you, you appreciate them. You're a wise person. You could be like me. You could be a life path number nine. I feel like this is for me, but I'm sure it's for people. Because sometimes I think I'm supposed to resonate with my own reading sometimes too. Because that's the way spirit speaks to me. Because I'm very like in my head when I do my own readings. I don't like to read for myself a lot. It's like a time and place for that. 
but you guys could be a life path number nine or you guys could just you could be older in age or you could be very wise for your age okay so you have recovery which is a third eye chakra card and this represents what is it that's your driving force and you have the ace of pentacles clarifying it so what's your driving force i feel is you're focused on, on your healing, you know, working with your angels, your ancestors, your spirit guides, so that you can be prepared for what's behind this door, which is your this new beginning, this new journey, okay? Because you know the spirit's gifting you with some sort of blessings and opportunities, and maybe this is expecting, um, like, some of you may have, like, a spiritual drive, find it, like, a drive to work um, in service or career, your career path, or life purpose, or some sort of material value of things. So you're working on yourself. So maybe some of you, this is not that heavy. It could just be like you're um, healing yourself from like a depression so that you can go back to work or so that you guys can get back to some sort of project or passion that you once had. Uh, maybe to just get out again, like be yourself again, be social. Like, you know that this is a recovery time. Like, you're very wise because this is a third eye chakra card. So, you know, deep down inside, like you have to do this, like, because you know that there's something on the other side, whether you're not sure exactly what these stable new beginnings are, but you're very much um, in tune to where, you know, something is coming, period. So what are your unrealistic expectations? You have self-worth. So some of you guys may struggle with insecurities and self-worth doubting yourself not feeling as though you're ready to step onto the throne and spirit saying like you don't have to throw yourself out there maybe you feel like oh well in time i'll do it because you're looking at yourself as the page of cups which is like this childlike energy you have two pages by the way two aces as well so these represent beginnings they represent messengers so it's like you may be telling yourself that yeah i have a passion to you know um and this is a sacral chakra card. So you have a passion to maybe like put yourself out there, step up, do something, be more creative, whatever. Step out of this fear because it's like this Iceland energy. Some of you guys may be um, Alaskan. Something with Alaska. Hearing Aspen. Okay. Either way it goes, I feel like what Spirit is saying, like you may be telling yourself that you're not prepared. There's a child in this card. There's a lot of children in these cards too. There's one with the Page of Wands. There's one with the Bittersweet card. One with the Self-Worth card, the Perfection card, and the Page of Cups. So you have a lot of children. This is inner child. This is trusting self. This is healing inner child issues that may be making you question your self-worth so you have this expectation of yourself that you have to be completely like this whole person and completely confident in your stance before you step out and spirit is like that's what possibly can keep you stuck or has been keeping you stuck and isolated in this coldness and stillness because you feel like you're not prepared when spirit is telling you like you're wise in your position you've already mastered something so it's this false sense of perfectionism. Perfection is right next to this card and it's a child um, right next to it. So again, that children energy. So how are you expressing yourself? Perfection. So you are perfect, expressing yourself maybe in a harsh sense of perfection. Like I have to be this. I have to accomplish with the world card. I have to accomplish this and that. You know, I have these deadlines and I got to be this. And I have it, you know, before this happens and... I feel like Spirit is saying you're already perfect. It's like you're the child of the Most High or the universe. You're pure in essence as you are already. You already have enough to offer and enough to give. Okay? You are perfect and present as you are. You are very fruitful. You're very abundant. You're very blessed as you are. And I feel like it's time for you to congratulate yourself because you've come, you overcome or you're about to overcome a very... Um, heavy cycle in your life or very important cycle of your life is completing and I feel like towards the end of the year during the holiday season like next couple of months or so into the new year you're like this is like celebrating time like I've come a long way like 2020 here I come so this is your energy I feel you know you're triumphant and 
you may be expressing yourself. Some of you guys may be expressing this to yourself. Like, you know, I'm already perfect as is. I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be in life. And not to say that I don't have any more lessons to learn or any more experiences or anything that I could heal within myself. But I'm perfect as where I am in this position and everything is perfect and in alignment. And this is also celebrating yourself, like turning grapes into wine. See the grapes? Celebrating time. All right. So you have soulmate. And this is interesting because it is in the Venus position, which is romantic outlook. So your current romantic outlook is you're definitely changing your perception and understanding of what soulmates are. And I feel led to read the card out of this book and I'm going to do that. You might want to thank a um, Pisces for the change of perception or someone that was very dreamlike or maybe you had a dream or goal or expectation about love and I feel like it it shifted your perception completely. It's someone or something that was taboo, someone or something that you weren't expecting to come into your life, someone that could have been a blessing or a curse in your eyes. It could have also been a connection to where, you know, it was taboo, you know, maybe it went against society, maybe you guys had different religions, maybe you were different cultures, um, sexuality, um, racial backgrounds, social statuses or circles and things like that. There was something where it was like, it just wasn't right. Like you could have been, say you were 21 and the person that you fell in love with was 45 or um, for some of you, it could have been third-party energy, third-party situation. But let's look at what soulmate is in this card. Okay, so soulmate says, Rose without a thorn, it is time to face my true feelings. The legend of this card, it says it's time for him to leave her again, to use the script he always does at this point. He even knows her next line. She will say, how can you do this to me? But unexpectedly, she says, I love you. The words of the script die on his tongue. He struggles to get them out. Just a few words and he will be free, but they won't come. Suddenly he claps him, cl claps him. Suddenly he claps her to him. He loves her. This is the true freedom he sought. The inspiration. To enjoy the beauty of a rose, we must risk being pricked by our own inner thorns. This offers a new way to live. The best incentive to change is love. Personal inquiry. What truth am I embracing? This card indicates no longer living a lie. Key ideas. Speaking your truth. Choosing love. Freedom through transformation. Resistance to, com to commitment. An unexpected outcome. New truths. Keywords. Authenticity, treasure, and trust. Okay, so this is another root situation. So I feel... That also, it could be that you, um, certain ideals that you had about love, where you may have kept yourself from a person or situation, you kept yourself stuck or stagnant out of false expectations of yourself, or maybe you had false expectations of a person. And I feel like once you shift your perception, there's this level of freedom that comes from you, this, you may also um, get to a place where you don't care. Maybe you were a person that cared about what other people thought about the people that you dated, whether it was like, oh, these, you know, my family's not going to approve of this or because of that or society or how this person looks, if they're not attractive enough or they're too attractive or um, they have this or they don't have this or I don't have this and they have this, like comparing yourself or just this judgment that comes with the hangman, there's a sacrifice within this. And the sacrifice is also being different, going against the grain like your soulmate connections may go against society's ideals and rules, okay? Um, and that's not to say that you need to break some people up or that you get married to kids and stuff. I don't condone all that shit, but you know, you know what I'm saying. But I'm just getting, I'm just getting that this is a change of perception in some sense when it comes to your love life. And it's going to be different for each and every one of you because this is a unique situation. But I feel like, inevitably what's going to happen is that you're going to things will move forward once you change how you're perceiving your love life and how you're perceiving yourself because there's some sort of enlightenment that's meant to come from this okay so how are you taking action vanity so again 
um worrying about what people think comes up very heavily three of pentacles yeah it's like the peanut gallery like who who cares what people think you have to honor your truth i get moses vibes from this card just a little bit like it's like you have to risk looking crazy sometimes and you might be communicating in a sense where you care about what people think um focus on false sense of perfectionism um just being too harsh on yourself because the hangman is also he's he's no stranger to being scrutinized by society um because of his difference he's different he's eclectic you know but the vanity card can also represent some of you are living false lives you're not being your authentic self you may not be communicating or expressing your truth and living your truth because of other people and because maybe the surroundings your environment your day-to-day -day environment whether that's home family work you know you care too much about that and you're not living your authentic truth it's like you gotta be authentic and whole within who you are and embrace that you know it's a blessing to be your authentic self so who cares what these other people have to think you know you could be holding back a lot of gifts and blessings by doing this okay so where do you need freedom? Acceptance. You have to accept yourself. You have to accept the way things are. You may be forcing and pushing things or pushing against what spirit is doing or you're fighting yourself on something. You're like, I can't do it. I don't know. I don't feel strong enough. Am I going to be victorious? Because I'm used to feeling, but I'm also used to being victorious, but I don't know what's up ahead. So it's very, be very mindful of the energies and the intentions that you're setting out in this position and i feel led again to read another card i'm gonna read the acceptance card from this deck but she don't look happy some of you guys are not happy with what you're doing for a living you know you're serving people but maybe you, you know you want to give back you want to be you know a service to others or heal or to you know do something give back to the universe or to the world but how you're doing it may not be what you're looking for it may not be for you and I feel like your angels also support what it is that you really want to do you know they may be calling you out because they love you but let's see what the acceptance card says it's another root chakra card too by the way okay acceptance the cherry heart when I accept myself I find love the legend cherry loves her work as a waitress but she feels that something is missing from her life she has a boyfriend, yet she senses that he is unfaithful. One day, a customer orders cherry pie. Cherry cuts a slice and sighs to her friend that her life is like the pie, with the slice missing. Her friend remarks that maybe cherry is a heart-shaped pie. Cherry's perspective changes. She leaves her boyfriend and later meets a man who makes her happy. Inspiration. A magical box of self-acceptance appears before you. Your unique qualities reside within. Open it. Are things simple now? Cherry Heart invites you to see yourself as complete, just as you are. Personal inquiry. Am I assessing myself accurately? Or am I distorting my reality in a self-defeating way? Can I simply accept myself? Key ideas. New ways of seeing yourself, embracing imperfection, feeling incomplete, selling yourself short. Keywords, manifesting, knowledge, and luck. Again, so it could be a fight within self. And I go back to the self-worth card and I go back to this perfectionism card. And it's like, you have to see yourself in a, in a higher perspective, in a higher light. You're judging yourself. You're judging how other people see you. For some of you, this could be what's preventing love from coming in or preventing a harmonious connection with an existing partner. Or maybe you are like Cherry, where you're staying in a relationship that's inauthentic to you because of what other people might think. And again, I'm not telling anybody to do something or not do something. Take what resonates with you, but I'm just calling the energies out as I see them. So there's this root, the root of these energies. I'll get to that. But the signs here... The zodiac signs specifically that I see, I'm seeing um, fire signs. I'm seeing Aries, Leo, Sagittarian energies. I see water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Um, Virgo energy for sure. 
Leo energy specifically for the fire signs, Pisces specifically for the water signs, and um, all of the earth signs really. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn came out as well. So sometimes I see the world card as Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, and Capricorn, but you can take it resonates. And these can also be placements as a rising, moon, sun, your Jupiter sign, your Pluto sign, your Neptune, your Mercury, your Venus, your Mars, your Uranus may have these signs in them. So the root of the situation is that you're discovering your true self and your true journey by expanding your capacity or allowing what you've experienced, knowing that it was meant to help evolve and help to break you through. Okay, and that you're perfect in your journey and where you are. You're turning the things that were meant to work against you, what you feel like were against you, or where you could have backed down and just fell, fall to the ground and not ever get back up, into something very fruitful. And I also see that the root of this is soulmate, and it does not have to be romantic soulmate connections. This could be all of your soul tribe that, like I said, that analogy or the, the, um, not analogy, but the example that I use with the Wizard of Oz that these different levels within ourselves is represents different aspects of our consciousness within self, the journey within and acceptance of self. These are the roots of this energy. So, you know, you're learning through your grief and through your sadness, you're, you're gathering a lot of divine wisdom, a lot of divine clarity. And I feel like how you're communicating it's a little bit, some of you may be com um, communicating in a self-defeating way as well. So make sure that you are changing the way that you're expressing yourself. But you know that you're going through a healing process. You know that you're recovering. And you have to work on self-work because you may be hiding yourself and your passions and blocking your passions because of lack of self-value or feeling like you're unworthy or doubting yourself, okay? Self-doubt. So if this reading resonates, Feel free to like it, share it with someone that you feel like may benefit. If you guys have any suggestions for the next pick a card reading, you guys can definitely leave it in the comment section. If I feel like it serves the collective, I will definitely do the reading. Um, also, if you want your own personal reading, I have a special running all of October for my spooky sale, which is a discount reading on some of my most popular readings, as well as some um, exclusive readings this month. That will be in the um some of my latest videos you can find a video about that special or you guys can check the community section of my channel for more information about it any other readings you guys can find me on my website um also follow me on instagram if you guys would like to i appreciate you guys thank you for watching take care be blessed peace